So I want to share with you some ways that I'm using ChatGTP to help me analyze and summarize articles, and also ways that you can use it to help with in-text citations for maybe papers that you're writing. So right now I'm on Google Scholar, and I'm just looking at articles that have to do with Bronfenbrenner's ecological systems theory. And um, I found this article here um, by Darling um, that deals with um, the person in the center of the circles. Okay, so it looks like this article by Nancy Darling is pretty lengthy. It looks like there's a total of 17 pages. If I were to copy and paste all of this and put it into ChatGTP, I'll probably get errors because it's just too much text. So one way around it is basically to break it up into chunks and then ask ChatGTP to summarize it after you're all done. So let me show you what that looks like. So here is chunk one. I'm starting with the AP citation and the page number. So after uploading the first section, it gave me a summary. I'm now going to upload the second section, uh, which is pages 207 through 210. Even though I told ChatGPT to wait, um, it's giving me summaries as I paste in each section. So now here is the last section, which is pages uh, 211 through 215. And ChatGPT has been summarizing it all along the way, even, I told, even though I told it to wait. Uh, it's giving me summaries. So let's see what it says here. So now I'm going to ask it to... Can you provide a detailed summary of all the pages uploaded above? All right, so now it gave me summaries of the pages. So that's pretty useful. Um, can you give me 25 key facts from this article with the in-text APA citation and the page numbers. So now ChatGPT gave me 25 key facts in the article along with the in-text citation in APA format along with the page numbers. So that's super helpful, right, for writing your papers. Um, but also what's great is that I can now analyze and ask ChatGPT questions as if this is the author of the paper. Uh, can you help me understand what the author meant by the person at the center? This was something that was called out. There's a section in the paper, and I'm not quite sure what it means. So here, ChatGPT is now giving me a summary of what that means. So that's helpful. So what's nice about ChatGPT is that if there's something in the paper that you're not sure about, you can ask it to provide you a summary. Can you make this more simple for me? So oftentimes I'll read a journal article and it's too, maybe it's too difficult for me to understand. It can give me a more simple breakdown of what that theory or what that concept is about. So that's helpful. Um, the other thing I can do is I can say like, okay, I read this article professor wants me to cite it in my paper, how can I cite it? So, so for example, like what are the key ideas from this paper that I could reference in my paper focused on parental monitoring and impact on teenage behavior? So now I'm going to go ahead and put that question in there and see what chat TTP recommends. So now ChatGTP has recommended a bunch of different pieces from the article that could be relevant to my paper that deals with parental monitoring and the impact on teenage behavior. And it's given me the advice with um, the in-text citation page number, which is super helpful.
So anyways, I just wanted to share that. I hope you find it helpful. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll follow up with another video.